face April May 2015 uh, 2014 was integrated into the report and how they were integrated by coincidence the 31 March 2015 version became available to the author of the report making possible this analysis the identified gaps and different size have the BFR to become to a different consolation that we have we have international agency of research research on cancer IRRC in the crucial areas of genotoxicity and carcinogenicity when the IRRC announced on 20 March 2015 IRRC 2015A that it classified glyphosate as probably called carcinogenic to humans. The strong discordance to BFR's assessment became obvious. This motivated NGOs, including PIM Germany, to have a second look at the draft RRR of 80. 18 December 2013. Already from this revisit, contradictions contr and commissions became clear, which results in a press release on 15 April 2015 and another one of 30 July 2015. In its replies to these press, releases, the BFR always referred to an ominous inclusion of civil society comments without addressing the issues raised by the press release. After the version of the RRR draft, which was submitted to the EFSA by consider by coincidence became available, it was possible to follow up on um, the question. The present document contains an in-depth analysis of the chapter on genotoxicity and carcinogenicity of the draft RRR. Date 31 March 2015 and some consideration regarding reproducing toxicity. Now, genotoxicity. Genotoxicity is a term to describe damage to DNA and its intracellular. Cellular, Structures the chromosome caused by chemical substance. If cDNA chromosomes are egg cells or sperm cells are damaged, this false genetic information can be inherited to future generations, but this damage can also occur in various other cells of the body because your cells are permanently dividing to replace all cells that have died. DNA chromosomes have a crucial, crucial role to ensure that cells division is probably controlled. Due to genotoxide damages, uncontrolled, continuous, 
division of cells can occur results in the growth of tumors. A battery of tests is available to assess the genotoxic potential of pesticides, i.e. to evaluate whether a pesticide is capable of damaging entire chromosomes or small fraction of the DNA. The appliance EU legislation commission regulation EU no 283/2013 follows a two tiered approach starting with in vitro tests IE tests in bacteria and cells lines Two or three different tests have to be performed. In vivo testing of animals is only required if no effects were found in this regulatory. In vitro tests, this approach is in, is in line with common text. Book knowledge E. G. Hoffman, 1996. P. Page 278. Who wrote, sorry, who wrote that uh, any agent that caused a reproducible positive response in any of these essays may be considered genotoxide. For two reasons, genotoxicity is an important part of the risk assessment of pesticides. First of all, evidence of genotoxide essential precludes approval of a pesticide or so. Exceptions are possible see Annex 2 of regular EC No. 1107-2009. Secondly, evidence of specific of specific forms of genotoxicity, in particular, an increase of so-called micronical indicative of DNA damage, are considered a valid biomarker for gender risk. Bonasi et uh, 2011. While the BFR came to the consolation that there is no in vivo genotoxicity and mutagenicity potential of glyphosate or its formulation to be expected under normal exposures scenarios, rare volume. 1. 31 March 2015 Revision Page 57 The International Agency for Research on Cancer IRRC conclude there is strong evidence that glyphosates cause genotoxicity. The IRC con Conclusion is based on studies that gave la largely positive results in human cells in vitro, in mammalian model system in vivo and in vitro, and studies in other non-mammalian organisms. IRRC 2015b Page 7, 77. 
This is a perplexing difference in the assessment by the two authority bodies. However, the following will illustrate the pattern how the literature on glyphosate is presented by the GTF and how the BFL missed to scrutinize it as required by regulation EC no 1107-2009 the GTF provide the results of a literature of a literal search for scientific papers published since the year 2000 a total of 48 scientific publications on genetic te toxicology of glyphosate or glyphosate based in formulations are listed in table 6.4 to 49 volume 3 page p pp 395 and to 399 whereas 14 of these publications provide no evidence of genotoxicity 31 of them described genotoxic Effects results of three publications were inclusive, inclusive according to the GTF. On the other hand, the over, or overwhelming majority, ma majority of the regulatory studies three did not show genotoxic effects. Obviously, this is a contradiction which was resolved by applying certain criteria for relevance and reliability to the publications in the scientific literature, while it is essential to ensure relevance and reliability of scientific data. There is a suspicion that the criteria used in the RRL to assess the quality of scientific findings, at least in part, were used by into industry to disqualify unpleasant studies, according to the table 6.4 to. 29 of the RRR 25 of the Dolce 1 publications have one or more different size based on the formal criteria. This is reason enough to dismiss the findings according to the EFSA. Guidance on submission of scientific per reviewed open literature EFSA 2011 Relevance criteria should not be too restri restrictive and defects that a study may not be conducted in a accordance with God laboratory practice. GLP does not imply that the study is irrelevant. Page 13. Therefore, one could wonder if not the sheer number of scientific studies with genotoxic effects should be recent enough to follow the presotonary pre pre principle as recommended by Directive A EU No 1107-2009 The suspicions that relevance and reliability 
criteria are applied in a distorted way is nourished, nourished by the effects that some of the disqualified studies are discussed in details. While valid studies with no remarks are just listed in the table mentioned without focusing on the findings, the handling of the paper by Kola et al. 2012 is of particular interest. It is one of the two of Three publications. The other two are by De Sousa Filo at uh, 2013 and Menes at uh, 2013. Which, re which received no negative remarks concerning reliability and relevance. In Table 6.4 to 29 of the RRR, RRR Kola et al. 2012 followed um, established an internationally Recognized protocols French 2007, uh, Finnish 2007, and had paid attention to every detail rigorous the code asked for. They used both glyphosate based in formulations and glyphosate as active ingredient. They used a positive control. They obviously made the assessment on coded slides, i.e. they followed the protocol of Finnish 2007. And importantly, they showed that genotoxicity occurred at con concentrations several times lower than cytotoxicity. One would have expected that this paper received particular attention from the BFR, but this was not the case in the RRR. It is just listed in the table and is not discussed in the evaluation text. It is remarkable that while in the RRR, thus range are listed in the tables reporting regulatory studies, the table reporting studies published in the open literature on or after 2000. Table 6.4 to 29 in the RRR, only the maximum does is Mentoned, i.e., a dose of minor relevance for hazard identification if effects are also seen at lower doses. Doses, for instance, in the cases of the study published by Collar et al. 2012. At the ARR, states a dose of 200 mg glyphosate of litter. This was the highest dose for testing cytotoxicity. It remains intransparent from this table that color at all 2012 identified genotoxic effects at a tenfold. Lower considerations, i.e. 20 mg glyphosate per liter, 
erroneously it was dated in the version published on 28 September. Thus, while a result of this study seemed to be veiled, the table compiled by the GDF and according to the BFR. Amended by the BFR presents only the less important results and even at a wrong dose. A wrong dose. While the RRR states that effects were seen at 200 mg, glyphosate per liter, cola at all, 2012 identified genotoxic effects at a tenfold lower concentration, i.e. 20 mg glyphosate per liter. Most importantly, in the RRR, reference is made to the results of single cell. G electrophoresis, electrophoresis SCGE only. It is generally acknowledged that SCGE is a rater supplementary and point for genotoxicity, whoever color at all 2012 also discovered significant effects in the micronucleus tests a core test for genotoxicity. This was seen at a glyphosate concentration of 20 mg per, la per liter. For both the active ingredients 95 percent purity and the glyphosate-based formulation round up Ultramax. It is difficult to believe that the results were left out without any purpose. What role did the BFR play? According to the German Ministry of Agriculture, Letter dated 29 June 2015. Signed by Peter Bless, its parliamentary state secretary, the BFR made a detailed quality assured examination of all original studies and the studies published in the scientific literature. For all chapters of the RRR PCI, the BFR made its own assessment. The color at all paper and photo examples described below raise doubts about the correctness of these statements. In the best case, it was sloppy work by the BFR. In the worst case, the BFR applied the same selective view as the industry. The BFR itself claimed in its facts, facts, uh, FAQs, FAQs of 24 July 2015 that all the source which formed the basis of the assessment report have exclusively, exclusively been assessed by staff of the BFR and the BFR did not really on the summaries provided by the industries. In the same FIQs the BFR claimed to have made its own literature search. It is almost impossible to dis distinguish in the RRR, RRR what 
A literature was collected by the industry. What came for from public? Commenting in spring 2014. And what was added by BFR? Earth's own literature search. However, even with this addition in the update version of the of the draft RRR resulting in a total of 48 studies, it, it, it turns out that additional 21 publications which were identified by the IRRC Publication identified by the IRC Table 1 were absent in the RRR. Based on based on analysis of the publicly publicly drafts PAM, Europe published a report in September two thousand fourteen, describing scientific literature missing the RRR of seven pesticides, including glyphosate PANE 2014. I.e. almost wondered if the publication was missed by the BFR. Table 1. Papers published after 1999 i.e. the reporting time of the current RRR concerning genotoxic effects listed in the IRRCs. Monography but missing in the RR IRR. For full reference, see the IRRC 2015-B. In summary, two questions are right. The first question is the future distorted or false reporting in the RRR in 